Hello and welcome to Code Mesh. In this tutorial of making your own paint application, we are going to discuss how to draw a line uh, in C sharp form. Uh, previously, we described and explained in the tutorial number one that how to make your form and uh, how to uh, address to these events of clicking these and what to do in these events and we defined some uh, like this graphics object a pen object and two points we defined there so in this tutorial we are going to describe what to do how to draw a line actually in the C sharp and why we define these points I'm going to explain that too so go to the form and click on the form make sure the form is clicked not this uh, panel or these picture boxes make sure the form is uh, clicked it's selected and go to this icon it's named events go to this and you have to initiate three events the first one is <coughs> mouse down event okay occurs when the mouse mouse pointer is over the component and mouse button is pressed okay so this event is basically called when the mouse is over the form and it's pressed okay and uh, the other thing is mouse up occurs when the point mouse pointer is above the component and a mouse button is released we are also going to initiate this event double click it the event will be called go again on the form one designer and uh, there is another event we want to, uh, to initialize and that is mouse movement occurs when the mouse pointer is moved over the component now why would we need these three events the first one being the mouse pressed or the mouse down the other, uh, and there is this mouse move event and there is this mouse up event we know that in the paint we click and when the when we click the mouse the mouse down event will be called and when we will move the mouse while uh, the button the left button is clicked the line will be drawn and when we will release the button the mouse up event will be called so these are these events and how to use them I'm going to come to that right now so I've told you we have as, as I've shown you that we have defined these two points SP meaning starting point EP meaning ending point now starting point of what and ending point of what basically a line is drawn between two points okay the starting point and the ending point now while at the runtime when we are going to uh, move our cursor from here to let's say here this would be the starting point and this would be the ending point so we are going to draw the line and as long as the mouse is moved and the button is also clicked we are we are, we are needing we, we will want to draw a line continuously so how to do that st which is the starting point is equal to e now this e is uh, an object you can say and it is having these arguments of mouse events so it can have if you press e dot uh, it will give the data of the buttons okay gets which mouse button was pressed clicks gets the number of times the mouse button was pressed and released so these are different data we uh, can have but in this case we would like the location of the mouse when the button was pressed so starting point will get the coordinates at coordinates of the point from which the button was pressed and we're going to do some other stuff E dot button gets the button which was pressed if the button that was pressed is equal to mouse button dot left if the left button was pressed we are going to set the k is equal to 1 k is basically just a control variable it will uh, be telling us that 
uh, its value will be 1 as long as the mouse is down as long as the mouse button is down this k would be 1 and as soon as it's up we're going to set k is equal to 0 and in the move event we want to we will actually draw the line so how we will draw the line here so I'm just copy pasting the page and the code and I'm going to uh, elaborate this for you first thing when the mouse will move it will check that whether k is equal to 1 or not this is important because uh, when we will run our application we want to be assured that while moving on the code we don't want to draw a line unless the mouse is the mouse button is pressed and that thing is checked with this k variable okay I hope you get the concept that if k is equal to 0 it means that the mouse button is not down the mouse button is down only when the k is 1 and it will be 0 when the mouse is up these things we have handled earlier so if k is equal to 1 we would like to draw the line now how to draw the line we get the ending point with e dot location now this new location is the location from the starting point to a new point to where the cursor has been moved for example at the starting point our cursor was here and we moved the cursor to here and this mouse move event was called so the new or, uh, coordinates are given to this ending point and this g is equal to this dot create graphics is just telling that draw on this form this means this form if we can also put um, our picture boxes or other stuff that we have this panel like for example uh, if we if we want to draw on this panel we would put uh, panel one dot create graphics over here but we want to draw on this form and this form is addressed by this uh, keyword so we're just saying that draw on the form g is equal to this dot create graphics and under that we are ready to draw we draw a line g dot draw line this is a built in function you do it like this g dot draw line you can see there is draw arc draw, draw behavior draw closed curve draw curve and many other stuff but we are going to draw a line we draw the line we give the pen you can see these arguments we give the pen to with which we want to draw our pen is p and we give the starting point as p and the ending point EP and between these two points the line will be drawn so that's how it was done and at the end when the line is drawn we would want the starting point to be equal to ending point because a new line will be drawn as the mouse will be moved I hope you understand for example at the first our mouse was here when the button was pressed and we moved it from here to there okay this was the starting point and this was the ending point and after that the mouse was again moved from here to here now this was the starting point and this was the ending point this starting point was the ending point in the previous line so we he we had to exchange these variables so that's all uh, for having your application of drawing pane now we will run this application and you will see the lines be drawn here you go we draw with black we draw with uh, green we draw with blue so that's fun you can see so you have